Hello. What's going on, guys? <laughs> <laughs> this is Karina. And my assistant. Uh, uh, they thought that they were real funny by making some shirts for today's video. But welcome back. Uh, Tuesday Live. You can check in where you're watching from. And uh, yeah, so brought Karina on today. Karina has been here longer than me. So uh, she runs the packaging area of the shop. So we have a bunch of fun things to talk about, things that... Uh, We'll, we'll, yeah, we'll, we'll figure out what we're going to talk about. It's, try and keep it as relevant relevant as possible. But yes, so Karina is in charge of the whole packaging area, packaging employees, try and make sure that things are getting scheduled. But uh, let's see. I guess running through your typical stuff, what it, you'll handle what? Uh, plating. Packaging, well, plating, receiving, lasering if needed, um, packaging, and that's about tagging. Tag, yeah, employees, the whole. Josh. Yeah, me. I'm trying to make sure that uh, I'm keeping them in line, I guess. But uh, so, yeah, the, the packaging area is uh, there's, you know, a number of people in, in the area. She has to make sure that everyone is working on the things that are the most important and also like we're constantly producing a lot of parts. She has to make sure that certain ones are uh, going out to be anodized or they don't need to be anodized yet, all of that type of thing. So she has to go through the website inventory, make sure that, that is, you know, reflecting on what she is working on the most. Um, <laughs> Karina, any new project almost finished? Uh, yeah. <laughs> I, she was asking, that, like, can we show the, like, no, can't. I tried, guys. Yeah, exactly. Trying to. I'm like, wait, you have to know what we can and can't talk about, which she's, she's, I don't know. She, we don't always have to tell her that just about, you know, if there's a new project, she usually does know that they're not out yet or they are out yet. Just, but anyway, uh, along with all of that, Karina also helps me a lot with the like, trucks of fortune, trucks of freedom, which is always a fun time. They always enjoy <laughs> it immensely. We do. <laughs> but uh, Karina did bring a box of things. A lot of the like special items during Trucks of Freedom, uh, I'd usually just give her free reign with. So she has made choices on the colors you guys have got, some of like the special items, sending things in certain combos. Oh, can you show that one? Which one is this? The one, Josh. Is that this? one, yeah. Um. <laughs> yes, basically. Yeah, uh -huh. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they, they do have to... Uh, they do have to, you know, go through just about all of the product. Uh, so they thought that this is how you abbreviate assistant. But Seems right to us. I think that they were incorrect with that. It's, you know. Well, Seems right. <laughs> <laughs> Makes sense to me. So, uh, let's see. How, when did you start here? Um, 2013. 13? Or 12, maybe around there. Yeah. So, yeah, I joined. I started at the birth. Yes, I did. Started, <laughs> started in Debert. That's where you know products that come off the CNCs. If they need some handwork, get a little bit done there before. So yeah, and then you uh, let's see you. I did shipping also? Oh, I did with um for a while, and then I moved into packaging. That must have been not too long before I was here. Right around the time you came yeah. here, yeah, I moved into packaging. So yeah, the. Uh, <laughs> I don't think the abbreviation was a mistake. Exactly. So he agrees. <laughs> yeah, well, that's perfect. The So yeah, uh, you brought, what did you bring? Oh, so this is the stuff that we have done. And I, you guys can see these. Ah, yes. The light blue and the purple. Yeah. Um, this one was very popular. And Josh really liked that one. So that was a lot my of you guys did. And then we did this one for a, a while. That and was the light. Oh, this is the light blue. The yeah. special light blue and color. And then this color was the one that didn't make it onto, what was it? The uh, That was Trucks. Black Friday? The Trucks, Trucks of Fortune. Of Mystery. Yes. Yes. This color didn't make it on um, for a particular reason because nobody liked the color and Except, I think I was okay with it. Yeah. You were as well. I was 
as well. Jim wasn't a fan Jim of it. Jim was the one who labeled it toenail. Toenail, toenail color. Still so. how we refer to it. <laughs> exactly. Internally. So, um, there's not very many of these, so whatever comes up next, um, this will be on the lookout. Uh huh. Um, and then, oh, do you want to talk about this right now? Oh, sure. Actually, we uh, we did get a delivery today. Um, the you did, you guys just got done packaging. Yes. Uh, the stubby kits are back. Uh, if they're not on the website right now, hopefully they are very soon. Um, so yeah, that's uh, that's so for all of you that know, and I'm sure that was going to come up in the live feed because it does every week when it's. So, Nicole. oh, that's to one of the other people. Okay. Um, oh, there you go. Karina, have you met Chief and Sookie? Yes, I have. <laughs> we, um, when he's out of town, I go and watch them and make sure they're fed. Yeah. And, yeah, so I've met them before. <laughs> yeah, the uh, I want the toenail wheel. Yeah, well, some of you <laughs> may have a chance at getting those the next time we do something. That's, but it's probably going to be limited only to the ones that were done. Yeah, up to this point this. so yeah that's but you know since i've you know since i started a lot has we've gone through a lot of stages like with the uh the first kits that we ever did were the origin limited kits you, oh that was crazy that was a lot it was a lot for, because it was such a process the uh we don't have one of the examples of the phone but we have like the frame rail one that's behind her head there but it was different when we actually did of course the full thing but that was such a huge process when we first went through that. It was a lot, yes. We had multiple people in there, us, about three packaging people, plus you and Brandon also. Right. Because with that, we would have we would have to load each of the parts into it. And you guys mm -hmm. weighed everything. Like how I can't remember how we did that when we opened the box first. And we weighed it with the foam, and then we would take the foam out, load it up. Um, and then way after the foam. Right, just after we loaded it, all yeah. the parts, just to make sure that everything was exactly correct before it went in, and then after it went out, mm -hmm. just to make sure that it's really the one that spotted the Pilates machine. <laughs> Wait, how did they know about the I've Pilates told, machine? I've told that oh. story. <laughs> that <was laughs> Not on here, but yes, that was Karina. Uh, uh, did Karina ever get the donuts sometimes I deliver? No, we don't. He takes them all. He only gives us what he doesn't want. <laughs> uh yeah. Yeah. So it's the uh oh god. Yes, Gunner. The the jerky was delivered to all of them today. They uh they I we pressed it all around the shop. So that was uh the... <laughs> hey, Steve. Hi Steve. <laughs> Tommy. Um, yeah. Uh, we all got shirts today, as you we can tell. Yeah, Steve yeah, says El Jefe. Yeah. El Jefe. <laughs> <laughs> uh, let's see. Do you have a panic button for the stubby kid, or is it just a deep stat? Uh, we're just in a constant state of trying to make sure that we stay up with those. Obviously, very popular and something that we have uh, tried to adjust to try and not run out. Obviously, the times we have run out has been shorter and shorter every time. But <laughs> it's, uh, yeah, we're, starting to learn all kinds of things. Steve signing, yeah. So yeah, the uh, let's see, the last, we had Trucks of Fortune, Trucks of Mystery, the last, uh, well, this winter, basically. Yes, Black Friday. Black Friday timeframe. Mm -hmm. That's all, we I try and organize a little bit better it's each. It's not very good. I, uh, it's got better every time. Okay. <laughs> sure. I usually have, I don't know, I don't know how long I stress you out for with that project. It's a very long time. I've tried to make it longer now, though, by trying to organize sooner. Actually, I think I try to get ahead of it and ask you if we're doing anything, so then I can come up with something. You, mm -hmm. <laughs> I don't. I don't know. Hundred percent sure that's true. That's but exactly. How it is. It's. Uh, it is a something that, like, when we do those, well, people do like them. It is a tremendous amount of work on all of Karina and then all of the people that she has to make sure trying to get everything else done on top of it. It is. It's stressful. It's a lot of work. Yeah. But it is also fun at times. It's 
it, you know, the fun part about it is seeing the Facebook comments on what you guys get and how everybody, you know, likes the colors or honestly, even the cards. Oh, yeah. The cards are a big deal to you guys. And we didn't really, I didn't realize they are neither, not, nobody in, in the room realized how big those things are. So, but they do take the longest and that's what stresses us off out the most. So I did tell him that next time he does it, he has to get ahead of that. Right. And the, uh, yeah, you guys getting, you know, telling you guys where they're actually getting posted and showing you all of that was the, was interesting because you guys would all be like, did you see this post? Or yeah. did so they started watching all of those in the live. We did. And, we actually started following a few pages on Facebook. Yeah. To, which is fun because, yeah, you do get to see it. Yeah. Or when but you... Sometimes we do want to comment back <laughs> to you guys in, in not so very nice ways. <laughs> but, you know, we can't. <laughs> Oh, here's a good here's a good question. Can we have another round of Wheels of Fortune? <laughs> um, you got, you were a part of that very first round, the first time that we did that. Um, Remember all of the boxes that we made of those? Yeah. And like we've still never recovered. No, we haven't. We are zeroed out <laughs> a lot of wheels because of it. Still. So, yeah. Um, which is why I try to get ahead of everything this time so yeah maybe i don't know probably not uh <laughs> the uh going through it that first time you guys were signing all the boxes as well when you would make the combo oh yeah and then seeing all of your names pop up and people wondering who yeah and people you guys collect those but okay. <laughs> cool. <laughs> uh, let's see uh VRD kits in the next Trucks of Fortune, Freedom, either one. Um, I mean, it'll be whatever is available at the time, you know, and that's basically, uh, yeah, so it's, that's part of it. It's because we're dorks, Karina. <laughs> the what? collecting of the cards dorks? and things like. Oh, dorks. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it's okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the. Uh, I need those champagne impacts. Yeah, champagne, I think, was the color. I think that's the color we were going for, which I still think they look like that. Can you guys see yeah. it Yeah. I think it's, uh, but then once they got nicknamed Toenail. I don't think we could look past We, we had to, <laughs> Jim just ruined for all of our sight. <laughs> yeah, we nah. just, <laughs> I mean, I guess we can see it. Ah, <laughs> uh, so yeah, that's, uh, that's definitely a hard thing to look past. Uh, so did I miss a ripper leak yet? Nope. Still didn't miss any leaks on that. Don't worry. Yeah. <laughs> Keep waiting. Uh, so yeah, the, uh, the reg, the day to day around it, it does, it does help that everyone in there is, is good to work. It's a, it's an interesting area because all of you have to work so closely together and, yeah, we've uh, we've ran through times where we're trying to add people into packaging to make sure, and it's it's not always easy to find the right. Fit. It's not. Yeah, it's hard. But right now we're working with it. And right now we have a great crew. Yeah, uh, who a lot of I mean pretty much everyone there but has been there for several years at this point. Yeah, uh, which um, is which is good. The uh, you know the person who made the shirts had left and come back because obviously it's, you know, it's we're great yeah gets to work around <laughs> us which is the the bonus at the end Maybe of the day me. <laughs> <laughs> how many per people work at vp i would have to um i don't know a little over a dozen or so uh, about 15 yeah yeah something right around there karina also has to be the one that helps uh, organize basically any company-wide celebration of any sort. It's like, mm, Karina can help handle we that. We try to celebrate at yeah, least once a month. Yeah. For Just because. Whatever reason can be yeah. come up with at the time. Uh, Karina, do you drive RC? <laughs> um, no. I actually got my first RC for my son this um for his, December? his birthday for, for his birthday which after being here over a decade and 
<laughs> well, it, no, it was the first one of ours. Yes. Because yeah. it was ready to run everything. You, you, uh, the kids have had other ones, you know, like kind of hobby grade it. Or yeah, you did. We did. I did buy him one. Um, I think a few years ago, but yep. it wasn't ours. And I got the first one this December. So, and um, I tell myself every year I'm going to Axial Fest, and I never make it. So maybe this year, <laughs> maybe. Yeah, you know, and it's not that far away. The uh, <laughs> how many temps have you gone through? Oh God. <laughs> Um, a lot. A lot. Finding finding good people is always is always tough. But uh, <laughs> what did you uh, what did you get him, uh, Stevie? Uh, what was it? The the four dice, right? Yes, the yes, the four dice. Four. And um, Dan helped me put it together, and Josh helped me put the colors together. Yeah, because we put some wheel. He's a uh, Kings fan, Warriors fan, Wh whatever. Same. So same. we did some special stuff for him. And... Yeah, that's it. I'm sure that they would all. Did he? What did he get? He got. I can tell. Him. I mean, I don't remember. What if they want it afterwards? Yeah. <laughs> he got um, axles in acid edge blue, along with blue diff covers, and um, I think um, acid edge blue wheels too. Gotcha. So he did. He got some cool stuff on yeah. there. Yeah. So a little, little, uh, little special stuff that will never be out. Ever. He's, <laughs> he's the only one who has it. Yeah. <laughs> but for the right price, maybe. Kings and warriors are not the same. I'm pretty sure they are. <laughs> They're not. Yeah. It's, uh, it's a sports reference, and Josh doesn't know. Yeah, I don't watch soccer. It's um, <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, <laughs> let's see. Karina, how many times you asked yourself, these nerds are paying how much for this stuff? Oh, God. <laughs> a lot. Uh, well, it's oftentimes it's like the collector stuff. You're like, wait, what is going on with these? Mm -hmm. Because obviously, collector stuff or you know, things that aren't normal production. It, you, you know, I look at the comments and the post you guys do sometimes, and I look at it and Pete, you guys, the amount that these wheels are going for, and I'm just like, oh, I just want to tell them like, there might be more coming out. Yeah. But I can't tell you guys anything. Yep. Never. See, no, you're not getting any secrets out of her either. So <laughs> the kid is running around with blue diff covers that everyone wants. <laughs> and axles. Yeah, the whole axle even. You know what? I'm gonna go home and post a picture of it later. Yeah. <laughs> Let's see. Uh, the uh, yes, the so many of the the special things for that do make for interesting comments year round. It's, yeah, it's you know it's okay. But hey, at least he's you know at least he has it. At least at least he's using it. Yeah, he loves it. So he does. He he loves Josh too. So <laughs> obviously. Right. So it's uh you know the uh, what up kings weren't I know they're not the same I just couldn't remember it <laughs> the Chiefs and nine see sports like yeah see now we got into the sports talk now and now off. I'm out I'm like I don't, what are we talking about at that point <laughs> <laughs> but yes yeah ah uh, Karina's pulled some of the greatest oh. on there's always an attempt. And I mean, sometimes it's great. I'm very, I, I walk around and just, uh, I was quite focused on everything. Else, and sometimes she would. I have a whole video of him just screaming after scaring him. So yes, I have. Hides in tiny areas. The, uh, <laughs> any plans for machined bent rod ends? Uh, not at this point. The machined rod ends are back in stock. I brought them. Oh, did you? The regular colors, yes. The Ah, these yeah. came back in stock this week. So yeah, the machine rod ends are back, both the clear and black. What regular cup? Yes. Regular mm -hmm. colors only. Yes. Yes. <laughs> Nothing special, but <laughs> they are back after being gone for a while. Yep. Uh, so those are back in stock. Uh, right now, the no plans on the the bent for the angled ones, but yeah. yeah. Is that my phone? Yeah. Is that Karina? Have you ever scared Josh? <laughs> I'm going to have him post the video. Uh, all right. I'll put it. Yeah, I'll post it for you. Um, 
Let's see that screaming video. <laughs> Can you share the videos on the website? No, Nita. <laughs> uh, well, let's see. Well, you able at Beat the Creek. Um, I I did not make uh, plans for Beat the Creek at all yet. I don't. I know that it's coming up. I don't know if that's. But uh, if we or if I was able to make it, I would not have any of the special wheels. I think we did offer some of the dark earth wheels at Proline by the Fire last you year. You did take those, yes. Um, but that was that was all there. Um, let's take part. <laughs> Does Josh ever take part home that we're up for an order? No. No, absolutely not. Um, Beat the Creek, just get down here. Uh, just joined. What did I miss? Uh, this is Karina. We'll reintroduce her. Hi. Um, the, uh, she is in charge of packaging at the shop. So she runs that whole side of the operation as far as like parts that need to be plated or anodized, um, organizing or prioritizing what is getting worked on and then getting put out onto the website. And that whole process, whether she's doing it or managing the employees is, you know, is that part. Somehow I start to hit play on a YouTube video yeah. and my, that's, Finally figured out what happened there. Uh, is the sorry, you might have addressed this, but is there a way to enable right click on the website to open another browser page? Um, I wasn't aware of anything like that. That's something I'll look into. Oh, the new website? Yeah, the new website yeah. stuff. Um, obviously, we're still running through a lot of just tweaks and adjustments on the new website, trying to make sure things are running you know, as smoothly as possible. There's growing pains that go along with it. Hopefully uh, in the end, it, it's easier to navigate on mobile, which is a big part of it. Um, but yeah, I'll, uh, I'll look into that. That's not something I had, I had seen, uh, you know, pop up as a suggestion before. The email notification thing at this point, uh, I'm still working on getting that functioning properly. So if you had signed up for the like, stubby kit notification, it, you won't, you won't have gotten an email on that. I'm aware of that. And it's definitely something that I'll work on to try and get, try and get going. Um, so yeah. Uh, bring Karina to Perlin by the fire and have her sell stuff. Uh, she can bring her son to, <laughs> yeah. Uh, the, uh, if we can get her to Axial Fest first, I think that'll be. You know, I always try to go with him. He never wants to take, take me. <laughs> I always volunteer to go. Uh-huh. He tells me, no, I have to stay here and make sure everything. Yeah, you have to stay and work. Yeah, basically. Uh-huh. Uh, yeah, well, it's because I'm always like, well, Saturday's a big day. She's like, I'm not coming on the weekend. <laughs> I want to go for work. <laughs> yeah. So, so. <laughs> she deserves a raise for putting up with you guys. Exactly. I tell uh, myself that every day. I am a treat to work with. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> um. I set notifications on the 1.9 roost bean blocks. Remember the roost? Oh yes, yes. Oh wow, that's been a long time. Yeah, the uh, it has been it has been quite a while since yeah. we did those. The uh, it is interesting to see you guys. You know, like, do you like you know what that part is? It's an axle cap. Axle cap. Yes. Do you know where that goes? At the end of an axle. Okay. <laughs> yes. <laughs> okay. Just make. There's a lot of times that you have interesting names oh, for yeah. parts. We do. Um, what is it? The transmission housing. Uh huh. They call it a duck. Yeah. <laughs> um, because it looks like a duck. Um, what else do we? Yeah, the hockey stick. The hockey stick was the wraith. The wraith one, and then we have the uh, pansy wheels. <laughs> 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 that was the name. Yeah, not Panzer, but Pansy. Pansy, and then what else do we have? Let's see. Uh, you used to call the shock tower thing. The H. You used to call it the H, which was the H. No, the uh, Yeti shock tower. You used to call it like the alien or astro. The... I don't remember that one. Yes, the bat wing. Oh yeah, that one. The adjuster. Yeah, that was the adjuster. Yes. Um, <laughs> that's because. We get a name from the machine when it comes off the machine. We get it one name, and then when we were would send it to plating, we get a different name. And then by the time we actually get the paper and the actual barcode, it's a completely different name. So we just kind of stick with what we know. Yeah. 
That's uh <laughs> why isn't this woman on more often? She's nicer than all of you. <laughs> the uh I am the nicest, yeah. yeah. She thought it was gonna be a big joke when they thought I was like, yep, no, like you, you got funny shirts. Guess what you're doing today? You yeah. get to be on the live. <laughs> Korean, how many pounds of Ultraman Pros are in the back? Yeah. Yeah. Um, none. We don't have any left yet. <laughs> Say hello to the back one. Is that Michael? <laughs> no. Michael Pam. Uh, hockey stick? Does she? <laughs> Does she call anyone a hockey puck? No. <laughs> <laughs> the hockey stick was the hand hard mount on the Wraith chassis mounted servo piece. Uh, yes, it was. Um, and somebody else knew it as like a little golf club. Yeah. Same thing. <laughs> we know what we were talking about. Yeah, yeah, whatever. We know exactly what it is. There's at least two pallets, Matt says. <laughs> Hello, Matt. Uh, let's the. Uh, is that Matt from Canada? Yeah, that is Matt from Canada. Hello, Matt. <laughs> She, she knows you exist. She doesn't necessarily know who you are. Just Matt from Canada. Has she seen flying cars? She has not, I bet. No. It's a movie. And Definitely not. About RC people. It's a documentary. Maybe I'll watch it. I'll give you a link. You should. <laughs> uh, any luck on the marketing position? No, we're still looking. Uh, so people are, we have, uh, we have made some progress in the area, just in a, a little different way, but still looking for that full-time marketing position. So anyone who's in the industry who wants to work in the office here, that's an, an important part. Um, how, you Working with us would be, you would say, pretty easy, right? Uh, it is, yes. Uh, we have good days, but then sometimes we do have stressful days. The, yeah, there is. There is. You, I've had to buy a lot of coffee to like, sorry. <laughs> yeah. Um, he's not so bad. He's not the worst of them. So he's, he's okay. Um, he's probably the most uh, easiest person because obviously we make mistakes sometimes. And, you know, him, um, he's just like, okay, well, is it fixable? Yes. All right. Well, then let's fix it. Um, Mike, on the other hand, um, <laughs> yeah, he's not. He doesn't take it as lightly as Josh does. So you got to address it, fix, move on. Which we do, yes. I don't yell very often. No, he doesn't. M maybe a couple of times. You and I, every once or twice. Um. Yes, and the first thing I did was I text Nicole. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I did. Like, Man. <laughs> so how am I in trouble twice? Yeah. So no way she called Josh easy going. I'm very easy going. He, he is, yes. See? He is. That's, that's the way. Just get. <laughs> <laughs> uh, let's see. The uh yeah. Pain Matt and SBG do marketing remotely. We get marketing done. <laughs> More marketing done than not. yeah, there's just so many things that have to be in, and it would just take so much work here. Like that's why we need someone who's here. To alleviate all of that work that's why matt would have to uh move across the border into the <laughs> uh, does michael make you wear gloves you, you remember the first uh like when we were doing the rippers at first yes and we like no finger like that was a that was a massive project as well oh yes for the rippers yes we did have to wear gloves because um we didn't want any fingerprints, prints, uh, but obviously once we touch it without gloves, it didn't look as nice as it normally did. So we do wear gloves with that. Um, you assembled pretty much all of those. Yes, that was that was fun. You, you didn't let I anybody did like doing that. Yes. Yeah, you didn't let anybody else do that because those got pre-assembled, like the cages all assembled, everything imminent. Went. Yeah. Um, the there's two there. That's Brandon's. That's Jim's. Oh, yeah. But without everything else, but um, that was probably a, that was a good time. I like doing that. Yeah, I mean, the, it was an interesting process. Like lots of steps to it, yeah. making sure that it was the you know, especially in the beginning when they were all very custom and in specific orders. Yeah, that was tough. But uh, we are at thirty minutes, so the Facebook side will get 
cut off will be on uh, YouTube for the last 30 minutes only. So if you're on Facebook, jump over to the Vanquish YouTube channel. You can join the rest of it there. If not, otherwise, we'll see you next Tuesday on that one. So, um, but yeah, come join us over on YouTube. All right. Um, <laughs> what is the real start time for Josh? When does he usually? <laughs> I'm not going to comment. Yeah, because uh, you and I sometimes are Close similar time. schedules. <laughs> 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 uh stubby kits already out of stock the absolutely not uh make sure that those got added if uh michael or brandon or somebody can confirm that one just to make sure um because those are those are done and ready and if they're not on the site right now they will be very shortly so if uh neither of them is watching i'll make sure i check on that before we before i leave so get that done uh, let's see it's time for the new, <laughs> new releases Nina's new releases yeah no nope, she is not she asked she said, can i show no nope. can i show yeah, this i tried yeah we <laughs> oh thank you brandon we are checking <laughs> oh wait i did bring a new one. Oh, you did yeah. this is for uh an upcoming you can show yes. us so, um this little these little guys um, right there, can you guys see? Um, for Fourth of July special, maybe? Yeah, yeah. You come up with something. I thought it was a good idea. Yeah. It so, was Karina's idea. I'm not not stealing. Not taking credit, not for, taking credit for that. We have uh, some pink wheels and pink, pink axles up there that she has done in the past. Oh, uh, that's that was fun. Um, so, yes, we have these. Um, there's not very many of them, um, but we always do say that. So. Yeah. <laughs> but there really isn't very many of them. Yeah. So she got that done though. I think that that's going to be cool. And so I'm excited about those. It was actually also Michael's idea too. He, he thought it was a good idea, which kind of pushed you to think it was a good idea. I'm pretty sure. I, I, maybe I thought, I can't remember. <laughs> no, you didn't. <laughs> Thank you, Brandon. So gets our live much appreciated. Uh, let's do you make employees sign an NDA because of all the nerd needing new stuff. Yes. Everybody is it's part of your, you sign it on your check. That's how you get it. Um, what length are those ones? They're 20 mil. So uh, the, all, all the same size. The Yeah, rather than mixing them up or anything like that, you'll, you know, you have to use them in, in whatever situation you find best. Um, you know, like, yeah, VFD Twin uses a couple of 24s and a 20, but we made them all the same just so that you could use whatever you wanted in the most common situations. So, uh, red, clear, blue wheel package as well. We did a lot of those last summer when we were doing uh, Trucks of Freedom for the first time. That was like we made quite a few of those packages, yeah. like different combinations, different wheels, different you know, with the big blocks, yes, yeah, so. the IFRs and all that. That was a big part of it. See, um, <laughs> anyone leaks, it will be tower. Yeah, exactly. Uh, I need those too many projects without server warrants. That's the perfect reason why I was, you know, it's a three pack, which it's like you don't necessarily need them, but to get a, you know, red, white, and blue kind of thing in that in that little package, I think that'll be fun. I think people will will dig it. It'll be a fun a fun part of it. So that's uh, ask Brandon how the twenty four millimeter center server warrants are coming. Please need them for the Phoenix. Uh, that's a project that we had discussed on the live feed. It would be something that would then go into production. That's not like a, a quick turnaround. That's something that requires tooling and uh, samples, prototyping, testing, and then production, the whole thing. So, so any plans on pink at, and portal? Is that the single one or both? Um, that would be the single. Um, no. N and no. <laughs> no. <laughs> um, the last time we did pink with all the parts, um, that was pretty hard. Yeah, because you did it with the F10Ts. We did, and um, there's so many parts that go to that, and plus we needed to make sure we had black and clear and needed to make sure we had enough for all the kits So, and screw kits because um, a lot of these screw kits we do ourselves, so it took a lot of 
work from us. Um, and not just the work, it's the time because we had so many things going on during that time. So um, we, I don't think so. I don't, maybe, no. <laughs> <laughs> See, this is how things are in life. And people are like, well, no, maybe, maybe but not. <laughs> but definitely not the F10Ts, the, the ones with all the parts. That was difficult. Yeah. So, uh, Josh Ter tells about the pterodactyl you slayed the other day. <laughs> I saw that this morning. <laughs> uh, yeah, a mayfly got in the house and uh, it was bouncing around the ceiling, and Nicole needed it dispensed of immediately. <laughs> um, I bet it's busy distracting <laughs> Josh, distracting everyone. Um, I am not. A distract i am i mean i can be at times i'm sure um yeah you can be but it's <laughs> not too bad it's usually uh, uh yeah. you know what it is sometimes i feel like sometimes we're just go 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 and then he comes in and we talk about whatever we need for the day you know he tells me and then we just you know he laugh a little all of us between everybody in the room and it's a good time we get a good laugh and then we just get back to whatever we were doing. Yeah, that's <laughs> so it's uh, productive and uh, morale building. <laughs> Won't the cat, cats hunt those down? That's the problem is when it's bouncing around the ceiling, the cats are bouncing around the room trying to get to the problem. They're big. The uh, uh, Any plans on releasing a dual dig VFD twin conversion anytime soon? That is something that is a combination of something Brandon had passed to me and something Brandon plans on doing separately. Uh, so who knows? it would probably just be a part or convert, you know, for, for one, but it's definitely a possibility in the future. Uh, sounds like a good work environment. Most days. Yes. Some days, you know, they can't all be good days. Alex is watching your live. Too. Hello, Alex. <laughs> She's reading your guys' comments. My daughter, Alex, so she's... She's my favorite. She's laughing at the comments. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, whenever Alex comes in. Alex works here, too, my daughter. Yeah, she does, in the summers. Yeah, yeah uh, when she's out of school. Um, She's been... She knows Steve since she was five, and Steve has great stories with her, and, you know, Nicole, Josh, they all know her, so she works here with us. Alex gets anything she wants, but she... It's <laughs> <laughs> like... Yeah. Can I get, I'm like, yes, I'll get to that. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so will we see Rippers of Freedom in July? No. 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 <laughs> Unanimous no. no. <laughs> uh, yes, that's, everybody can say hi to Alex. There you, go. <laughs> <laughs> you can embarrass her remotely. Yeah. Uh, yeah, a remote employee would get way more done without all the distractions. Mm -hmm. I mean... So, not all the tech messages and oh, phone calls. Right. Brandon splits time between work from home and work in the office. And I I understand. And even like I'll work from home every once in a while. Like I work from home on Friday and I get a lot done then too. But <laughs> there is times when like for me, I'm bouncing around the shop all the time. So I just have to be here for things. But yes, you can still get a lot done of certain things when you don't have all the distractions, but not necessarily the... Uh, <laughs> Oh, sure, Brandon can do it, but I can't. You can work from home two days a week as well, Matt. <laughs> you said to be here the other three. <laughs> you you pick which days, those that you plan on. It's, uh, uh, there's still pink F10Ts, not a good seller, I guess. Uh, have my, I think that we, well, they were gone for a while. And then uh, when I purged everything over to the new site, did realize we still had some, we put them back up. Um, but they had been gone for a while, so that was a that was a side effect of the new. A late, we yeah. got them in late too. We also. yeah, we did as well. Like we did those in October, um, and then, but we didn't end up doing it until like towards the end. No, that's not what happened. You said you only wanted a hundred. Nope. Fifty and fifty, <laughs> and then yeah, you know those went away. <laughs> He's rushing me to get everything else done. <laughs> Some of, them were, some of them were a little late. I don't remember exactly how that worked out, but <laughs> it sounds it sounds somewhat plausible. 
Mass me and Cali Monday, Wednesday, Friday, Canada, Tuesday, Thursday. Yeah, like you work on the plane too. It's fine. Uh, travel's not included. You, you can get lunch stipend. That's it. And we provide coffee. There you go. They do. The coffee's good. That's it's pretty good, yes. <laughs> you just have to learn how to work the machine. Steve doesn't let anybody work the machine. Oh, yeah. Steve, like, Steve likes the espresso machine. But, uh, yeah, we're all pretty hooked on all of the coffee options. Yeah. So, Andy. Uh, Matt can commute via the private jet. Yeah, that uh, the Vanquish private jet is small. It's, uh, <laughs> it's an RC. <laughs> Tough to fit on. But all of our all of our vehicles are pretty much RC. Any chance getting a other special colors, autism or uh, POW, PTSD? There's always some options. Um, you know, some of the the special things and and items like that just come. From, you know, uh, we do October Breast Cancer Awareness. Uh, one of those uh, causes that is was close to some of us, so we yeah. like to, you know. It, it, a lot of it just comes from that. Like the special things come with extra work and extra work on everybody. Um, and some of those things are just personal projects that we were like, yeah, well, this is something we'd like to support a little bit, a uh, little bit extra. So that's why that happens more than anything. And especially why the October stuff was, but uh, other possibilities in the future, maybe there's always, uh, there's always good months to, you know, a lot of the, the great causes, not putting any of them down, just ones that we have chosen at certain times. The, uh, let's see, let's, let's say we got a bunch of people on board, <laughs> like a pre-order kind of thing, and do a small run of rock picks and diff covers and just plain click. Yeah, that's not how that, that's not how that works. So we plan everything for production so that they're running, you know, it's, setting it all up, everything like that. Some of that stuff was on old machines. Like, you know, we go through things at times where like, oh, well, that's on, you know, we, we've upgraded machines over time and some things just have not, you know, they don't get made again because there wouldn't be a long running and we have to prioritize where the time is best spent. And <laughs> Karina, just, just scream like a girl. <laughs> I always say the same thing every time. Yeah, we can't. Yeah. <laughs> they told me not to curse. <laughs> yes. Uh go find me for special wheels. Nope. Nope. <laughs> not interested. Not interested at all. Again, anything that's limited or special, it's just extra work that has to find a way to get done and takes away from normal production and all that. So that's it's just a whole a whole process. It takes a lot to get, I don't think people realize um, how much time it takes for everything, you know, from plating to receiving to sometimes lasering and packaging, screws. Sometimes the special stickers that go with them. Yeah, but... it, it's a lot. It is a lot. There's moving parts to every, to the whole thing. Um I bought a carbon kit the other day. It should be here tomorrow. Can't wait to start. But the carbon kits are a great build as well. They're definitely like one of the most fun kits. Super simple and easy to put together. And then from there, of course, you you know, you have to choose wheels and tires and your body. So the whole thing is very satisfying to do. The uh, <laughs> Now we see all the face of VP. We don't want to see the VP panel. <laughs> <laughs> um, I did say, we, I say it every year. I'm going to make a calendar for Josh's birthday with um, the video, like the pictures, uh, what is this, still shot of him screaming. <laughs> and maybe, who knows, maybe this year. <laughs> I'm building a carbon while I'm watching, see? You, you only get an hour of this, but it goes, you don't need that much longer for the carbon kit. Two, three hours are pretty <laughs> good. <laughs> uh, yeah, so, yeah, maybe a calendar this year. Yeah, <laughs> no calendars. I'm pretty sure they'd be popular. Oh, you know, I tell him all the time because I don't relate. We well, none of us really realized how popular he is and how much you guys love him. <laughs> so every time I tell him, I'm like, I'm just gonna start grabbing all your stuff and selling them on eBay. <laughs> I'm pretty sure somebody will pay for it. 
So if you guys want anything that he's ever yes. worked on in our lives, just, you know, <laughs> or use. Um, if you touch my stapler, you're in trouble. Oh, yeah, his green stapler. <laughs> so, yeah, let me know for the right price. <laughs> Uh, I'm thinking about driving my carbon while watching. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> I think I've got a comp coming up uh, this weekend or next. That's something we should make you do: is go to a comp and race a car. Okay, we don't call it racing, but yeah. What do you guys call it? It's a comp. You're, I don't know, competing, driving. It's not really a race. Um, listen, no, I don't think so. You know, maybe who knows? This weekend, I don't know. I think it's next. Okay, well, Brandon, <laughs> we'll see. Uh, yeah, $60 for the Thede stapler. <laughs> <laughs> That's the first offer, see? <laughs> uh, do the HD44s you only use VS410 internals? So the HD44s use the AR44 gear set, same with the spool. Um, those are what are used in the, the uh, F10 internals. Uh, but it's also the same as like the SCX-102 ring and pinion. Uh, the shafts are unique to the HD44 slash F10, D44, um, basically any of the VS410 offset front axles. So it's all cross compatible as far as that goes. <laughs> How do you compete without race? It's, Serious question. So you drive through gates, like yeah, you have, we have gates that are spread out but like on a rock in difficult ways and you have to drive the truck through them and you have a limited amount of time, but it's not about how fast you do it. It's about how you can get through them without touching the gate or like having to reverse. That doesn't make sense. It's, it's a race. <laughs> it's like, no, it's not a race. It's like golf. If the low score wins. I've never golfed in my life. You've putt putt though. Uh, top golf. Yes. Top golf is not putt putt. <laughs> putt putt's like the little one with the short hole, the, you know, like the windmills and oh, see low score wins. Wait, I never. So I've been doing it wrong this whole time. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> You're racing through. No, I thought the bigger score one. Uh -huh. mm. Like I always win. Only if Jim goes. I don't remember. I don't think Jim has competed with us here locally before. The. Uh, See, the, the bonus here, guys, is that every rig has a free battery in it. Not every one of them. Even, even today, we did some check. Like, oh, no. No batteries. No batteries. See? Don't leave them plugged. I like those long sleeve shirts. Uh, these were custom. These were. They are very cute. They have a great big uh, oh, V yeah. on the back. Of course, it is also pink. That is not just the lighting. That is the actual color. They chose it. I didn't choose it. Uh, any local comps coming up? Yes, in a week or two. I think it's either this weekend or next weekend. But I think next uh, Sacramento Cone Dodgers is uh, the Facebook group. Tyler, check that out. So it's uh, everything's there. It's going to be up at the Ponderosa Bridge again. Same place we had it last time, but a great spot. So um, you should send his stapler off to plating. <laughs> no, I like the color. He loves that thing. It's a great stapler. Can't find them like that anymore <laughs> they go through some staplers oh they, yeah we do they know how and sealers they know how to break equipment <laughs> it's because you go in there and there's <laughs> it is no. like no one i don't think anybody else has ever broken a stapler except you guys we got them the automatic staplers they hated it it wasn't very efficient it wasn't fast enough yeah yeah so manual stapler okay we go through all kinds of, all kinds. Pink tools, love that. You guys did pink tools for us for the, for the oh, room. I should have brought mine. Yes. Oh yeah, we. You have pink ones. Yep. Um, we did. Um, we Each did. of the girls got custom tools, yeah. so that they could tell whose was whose in the room. And yeah. what did yours have? On? Yours had the cowboy the star. Cowboy logo. Yes. Yeah. Um, Nats had San Francisco, I think. No, Kings. Kings. Yeah. Um, they were red. You know, they love us here. They give us custom stuff. We did a uh, Batman. Oh, we did. And did we do another one? I can't remember. Um, I have uh, this color sitting in my Oh, door. that's right. Mm -hmm. The purple ones. Yeah. <laughs> have, you seen, have you seen my stapler? 
Put putt putt is a Nebraska thing. Everyone else calls it mini golf. What? Yeah, I didn't know it was. No that. one calls it putt putt. No, it just I didn't know that's what it was. Yes, mini golfing. This is a brand new. <laughs> this is a revelation. Uh, I never heard someone so in love with a stapler. <laughs> you don't understand. I've had it since my twenties, which was a long time ago now. Here, isn't it? It is. Yeah. It's right there. Right it shouldn't be in here. It should be on my desk. Right. Avocado green. A <laughs> hundred bucks yeah. or highest bidder. <laughs> <laughs> Get that on eBay for it regularly. That lump. <laughs> That's a crazy corn. Uh, it is. Okay. It's putt-putt in Ohio, Texas. It seems like it's pretty much down the putt-putt in Northwest Pennsylvania. All right. Let's see. Not crazy. I didn't know that. But, but see, everybody, everybody knows. So if it comes up missing, you might burn the place down. <laughs> He's very non confrontational. So it's. I am also non confrontational. Yeah. It's, yeah. Unless there's like weird cars or people who are trying to come in the building. Oh, yeah. Steve's very, Steve and Jim are very yep. good about that. <laughs> We should put that in Jello again. No. Oh, that was... you should not. That was a good. One. Uh, yeah. Right there, eight hundred. <laughs> no. Eight hundred so far. It's gonna stay right over there now. The office space reference, exactly. So I have five or six minutes left. Pierce. Okay. Oh, this one's favorite. Easy. Exactly. This See, I told easy. you, yeah. favorite project or product. Oh, wow. Um, you know, the Rippers was a good time. The, the beginning of it, like you said, um, especially when you guys changed your options halfway through after I already had them colored and uh, read, almost done. That was good. Um, oh, man, I don't know. The I feel like the pink stuff, the first round of pink stuff that we did was probably my favorite. Yeah, that the was fun. bars. Oh, yep. Yeah, the sway bars, the wheels. Uh, yes. Um, we do. Did we do axles first time? No, we only no, did just, sway bars and wheels. Yep. I do remember. That was good. That was um, a good time. Um, least favorite project. Oh, man. I don't know. The Probably the first kit. The origin? Yes. Yeah. That was probably one of the toughest time we had. But we did have a lot of help. You guys were great. Yeah. Thank it it was. In. It was uh, just such a big project to start yeah. with that it was, we were very hands on yeah. with making sure that everything was right. That was, oh, Karina's favorite color wheel. Um, I don't know if you guys remember the monster green one. So that when I first started working here, that was probably my favorite one. Um, we don't make those anymore because it was very hard to stay consistent, even when the, it was the same batch. And we had a lot of different colors and a lot of issues. So, and you had to deal with that specifically yeah. and trying to keep everything. But other than that, um, the blue ones now are my favorite ones. The light um, blue. Mm -hmm. yeah. That was this is and the um, what is it? The dark earth. Mm -hmm. Anything the dark earth, I like. I think it makes. Or the what the plater actually calls it is flat earth. Flat earth that makes <laughs> sense, but. Um, anything dark earth, I think looks great, um, especially on the cars. But um, yeah, I I thought that those always looked good. Yeah, as well. I feel like that was um, that was probably my favorite color on anything that we do. Yeah, I I would agree. It was it was definitely something. Um, she hates anything Josh wants custom. <laughs> I don't make a lot of requests. No, he doesn't. I'm pretty I'm pretty uh, just what we already offer is pretty much what I'm I like what I'm happy with. So. I, nothing too special. What Josh actually had to work. Once in a while. Uh-huh. So, <laughs> yes, the flat, dark earth, yeah. I do like those. Those are... It, Even it, the axles look good. I think. The axles did look good. We did uh, we did portal housings and F10Ts. Mm -hmm. um, I can't remember if we did any others other than just those. No, I think that I, we did bead locks the last time. We did yep. a few bead locks. The bead locks looks great. Look great. Um, 
I had to make sure I matched your guys' basic wheel with the beadlock because Josh didn't want weird colors going on. Yes, that was something I had to like, like you can't put that with that. I mean, yeah. You guys didn't have to use them, but I wanted to. Yeah. Send those out. Doing <laughs> a great job. See, there you go. Uh, Judge needs orange wheel and stock to keep him happy. The simple things. Orange is probably the last color we do on anything because it's the least, uh, you know, we have a ton of that. <laughs> we could probably go through black, clear, and gray three, four times before we sell out of orange. <laughs> it's great to see all the gears that make the machine work. As always, thank you both for your time. Appreciate the hard work. Y'all. Thank you very much. Thank yes. You. I'm good. <laughs> I'm glad that we were able to uh, talk. It's the first time is the most like. <laughs> I thought it was going to be horrible. Yeah. It's, you know. <laughs> Next time I'm going to dress up um, in my Halloween costume. There, I, I'm going to find that photo on my I phone. Have you I have it? I think so, yes. Okay. Uh, Karina dressed up as me for Halloween one year. And for some reason that day when I woke up, Nicole was like, hey. Uh, and for some reason, like. She's like, oh, I put your shirt on the bed. I was like, okay. Like, that's weird, but I'll I'll just put it on. Like, I don't care. I didn't know that there was a motive. It was, yeah, we I had to make sure I text her before. <laughs> I said, hey, can you please make sure you get him to wear this? Oh, I don't even know where it's at. It's been such a long time. I forget how many, how long I, oh, here it goes. Oh. <laughs> Trying to find the one you'd like okay. to Right here. Your arms are probably too short to actually reach that. So, so there you go. That was uh, Karina's Halloween cop. Uh, <laughs> and all of the, you can tell uh, the height difference there. And the, uh, I think all of the packaging employees yeah. participated that year by dressing up as different people within the shop. That was Jim, Jim Steve. Steve. Um, they were very good sports about it. Yes, it all actually worked out pretty good. <laughs> yeah, there you go. That was, uh, that was, can you please dress Josh? <laughs> uh, yeah. And I mean, I just did whatever Nicole said. I was like, okay, I don't know. <laughs> Didn't even think about it for half a second when I was just, <laughs> whatever. So yes, appreciate everybody for watching. Again, uh, stubby kits are back in stock. So you can check those out. And the rod ends. Rod ends also back in yeah. stock. And the rest of the stuff you can't buy. <laughs> special but appreciate you guys for joining say thank you to karina and uh we'll see you next tuesday yes which one is karina <laughs> <laughs>